everybody, it's me Jasmine D and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to renew your Philippine passport. So what is a passport? A passport is a travel document that identifies and authorizes you to travel abroad. Why do we need to renew our passport? Well, there's two reasons. Number one is for you to be able to go out of the country or to travel abroad. So if you're planning to travel abroad, please make sure to check your passport's validity. Kapag 6 months na siya or less than 6 months, then that's the time that you need to book an appointment para ma renew mo yung Philippine passport mo. Then another reason is that this is for married women naman. If you want to change your surname from your single name to your married name. We are going to talk about yung number 2 na reason. This is applicable for every married women. So in this video, I will share with you the requirements and mga steps on how to renew your Philippine passport and also mga tips. Na rin. So let's proceed sa mga requirements. Of course, you need to have your accomplished application form, your confirmed online appointment, your appearance, current a passport with a photocopy of the data page and also your PSA authenticated documents ito yung marriage certificate and birth certificate so let's proceed to steps on how to get your Philippine passport of course secure an online appointment so this is the link kung saan ka magpapabook ng appointment for the for renewal of your passport. Then next is you need to pay yung passport fee. There are two choices. Pwede regular process, it is 950 pesos. And for the expedite process naman, it is 1,200 pesos. For expedite process, this will just take for 6 days, 6 working days inside NCR and 7 working days naman pag outside NCR and for the regular process will take for 12 working days pag nakasettle na yung passport fee okay na rin yung appointment mo online and you have received your confirmed online appointment that, that's the time naman na you need to go to the DFA office kung saan ka nagpa-appoint so, you need to be there early, like at least 15 minutes to 20 minutes before your appointment. Pagdating mo sa DFA, ipapakita mo lang sa personnel or security guard yung confirmed online appointment mo. And then after noon, they will ask you to go inside. And then in the first station, personnel who is in charge, he or she will ask you to to present your requirements, all the requirements. And then after that, papasulat lang sa yung name and signature mo. He or she will give you a number, so dapat always alert ka din and attentive na i-check yung number sa screen kasi yun yung cue na it's your turn na. Send coding station, um, it check nila yung information mo and code nila yung, yung information mo. And then after that, you will just double check kung tama ba. If may hindi tama, then you need to tell them na i correct. And doon, mangyayari din yung sa picture taking. So I suggest na don't wear heavy makeup, just wear a light makeup. Um, and then don't wear danglings or earrings because they will ask you to remove that. After the picture taking, then do this in biometrics. It's a fingerprint. Fingerprint. And then that's it. You're done. That will just take um, 7 to 10 minutes. It depends. So now let's proceed naman sa mga tips ko sa inyo. 
Ang mga tips ko lang naman is be there at least um, 15 minutes to 25 minutes before your appointment time. And of course, um, do not wear too much makeup. Light makeup will do. Next is don't wear danglings or necklace or earrings because they will just ask you to remove that. It's not necessary. Those accessories are not necessary for the photo taking. Of course, you need to be alert, be attentive always, and do not be shy to ask if you want to know something or if you want to, you know, ask something to the personnel who's in charge. Just ask, don't be shy. much for watching this video and I hope that you have learned a lot. Please let me know in the comment section on how this video helped you in getting your new passport. Take a step, act your faith. Thank you so much and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and see you in my next video. Thank you, be inspired and God bless you. Just